The House has voted to impeach President Trump once again. Both Democrat and Republican members fiercely debated today, exactly one week after the violent assault on the Capitol building where five people died. This is the first time in history that a president has been impeached twice. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us at 4. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Christian Casares. Unlike the first impeachment, this time 10 Republicans joined with Democrats. Natalie Brand has the breaking update from Capitol Hill. With bipartisan support, the House of Representatives has voted for a second time to impeach President Donald Trump. He must go. He is a clear and present danger to the nation that we all love. Passions flared during the floor debate over charges the president incited last week's violent and deadly assault on the U.S. Capitol. The cameras of history are rolling. We must act. We are on an absolute race to the bottom. The third ranking House Republican Liz Cheney and a group of her GOP colleagues voted yes. These articles of impeachment are flawed. But I will not use process as an excuse. Over the past 24 hours, at least 10 Senate Republicans have come out against impeaching President Trump, most of them citing issues with process and timing. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said today he's not made a final decision on how he will vote and will listen to the arguments when they're presented to the Senate. But a spokesman said he will not reconvene the Senate for an emergency session, meaning a trial likely won't take place until after President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration next week. Speaker Pelosi has already named the nine impeachment managers who will act as prosecutors. In and around the Capitol, large groups of armed National Guard members and law enforcement Enforcement remain on high alert. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Some of our state's representatives speaking out in support of the decision to impeach President Trump. Congressman Stephen Horsford says, quote, Donald Trump incited insurrection against America and attempted to overturn the will of the people. We must send a clear message that committing sedition disqualifies a president from serving another day in office. Representative Dina Titus adds, quote, President Trump incited an attack on the U.S. Capitol building, the people who work there, Vice President Mike Pence, and the United States of America. The case for impeachment is overwhelming. For more than three decades, I taught U.S. history as a professor of government and politics. There has never been a president who is so unfit to serve. I voted to impeach President Trump because he is a clear and present danger to this country.